Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to breed inside of Dragomon. So, in my last video, I was doing the whole ranch thing, giving you guys a tour, showing you guys what you can do in ranch. This time I'm going to show you guys how to actually breed. So, first things first is, when I come over here to my little ranch symbol, it's a little lion on top of a little gate. I believe it's a lion, I have no idea. But, as you can see, this Dragomon right here, my... Tossakin or whatever the heck it's called. Dragomon comes up with the weirdest names. But I'm gonna just go to a tox. As you can see, it's at 18%. So the way it goes is that you feed your Dragomon until they get to 100. But there's certain things that they like and dislike. Your goal is to figure out what they like and what they dislike. So if I was to give them this, which is like special vegetable modeling or something. I'm gonna try and put it down. Or I'm gonna have to try and change it to keyboard, I guess. Now I'm gonna put this down in front of his path where he's walking. And once he comes back over, he should be starting to eat it again. Now let's see how he feels about it. Takes him a while to eat. I don't have my controller plugged in at the moment. That's why I had to change it. This one, he feels neutral to it. So he just makes that whole sound. So let's see how much did he go up? He went up quite a bit, and I do mean quite a bit. Now I'm going to put down a fruit, something he probably won't like, and that's chicken drum strips. Uh, let's put it right there. Now, I'm pretty sure this Dragomon does not like meat at all. It just takes time to figure out what they like and what they dislike. So I guarantee you guys can just experiment around. There's quite a few few recipes. There aren't like a whole bunch of them. Probably like 20 of them. Around 20 or 30 of them. So you guys can experiment with each of them. As you can see, he didn't like that one. So they show that angry, little heated emotion above them. You have to wait until that goes off. And it takes a little while to disappear. But this is something he loves. I know that because I've tested it out. I don't think he can continues his normal pattern until that goes away. Yep, there he goes. And he's gonna keep going through his normal pattern. When they get angry, they just sit around for a while. All right, let's see how much this takes you up, buddy. As you see, they show a heart if they really do love it. Now, even when they dislike it, they still go up, but just not very much. It just goes up by a tiny bit. As you can see, he's almost ready to breed. But I already have four Dragmon that are ready to breed. Now, I do have a chance of getting a different Dragmon, which I'll show you guys that percentage as soon as my little legs get over there. Just jump over this. All right. Now I'm over here talking to our little gate. Oh, our galleon my manager, but I'm pretty sure I can do this anywhere I want. But I go to breeding, and I can breed any of these Dragmont together. So I got my whole fire Ursa from breeding these guys, and I have a 50% chance of getting... Let's see, let's go to regulars, scroll down, now these are all the breedy. So I have a chance of getting one of these four. Out of that, I got this, which is pretty much right about here. Which one did I get? I just got a normal one, just a normal. 
So let's breed two different things together. What should I breed together? Let's check our little reptilian here and our horno. It's, uh, let's see where they are. Well, let's see what they make, actually. Scrolling down, scrolling down. You guys can always come in here and see, figure out what breeds. What breeds what and what makes what. So you can put a fire type against these guys and it would make like a fire mount or something. Yeah, I'm not really sure which one makes that. Nah. Let's see. Look at our reptilian. Where is he at? Here, reptilian. I know you're in here somewhere. Is it down here? Nope. Somewhere in here. There he is. Pretty sure a fire one would make that. But, as you guys can see, I'm going to show you guys um, something. If you put in different Dragomon, they give different percentages. So, as you can see, that one went down. I'm going to switch in a Ursa. Take that one out. Switch in a... Wait, nope. Take this one out. Now I'm going to put in this along with the Ursa. I have 52% of getting the Lightning one. I believe it's the same thing with you. Let's see. Nope. You have a lower percentage. So, we're just going to mix these together, see what we get, if we fail or succeed. Ah, we succeeded. So, we got a new Dragomon now. Which is pretty much a normal one, I believe. Uh, where is he? He's around here somewhere. Yeah, it's a normal one. But, I have the orange one. If I put this in, I'll probably get, like, I have a chance of getting a different rarity. So, when I put mines in, I got an orange rarity, as you can see, which is a Master Guardian. Ah uh, yes, that's what they're called. Nope, I'm not sure at this point. It's weird, they just get different ra rarities. I mostly got greens at the moment. So, with that even done, I'm going to try to breed one more. And hopefully I get a felling one to show you guys what it looks like when it fails. Oop. Put in you and you. Now let's see what we get. Oh no, we succeeded again. I got a swift. Yep, I got a swift. So sadly I did not fail. So I could just put these in my archive and collect them. Just gonna put all you guys in there. I'm not doing any contests at the moment. Well, not doing any Dragomon Bill at the moment. So, yeah. So you guys can test it out, give different Dragomon different food, and try and figure out something. I'm pretty sure there should be a site out there that would like tell you everything that a Dragomon likes and dislikes. Just takes time to find one. I had found one when I first started, but I don't know where it went. It like disappeared off the face of the earth. But I hope this video really helped you guys out. You guys remember cooking? You can cook any ingredient over here on a on a cooking interface, and you can buy this ingredients over here from this guy, and different recipes over here too. So, with that said, I hope you guys get a little more insight of how to breed inside of Dragobond. It takes a little bit of time. Most of the time is trying to figure out what a Dragomon likes and dislikes. And I will tell you guys this. Each time you breed, they level up. And each time, and anytime you fail, they still level up. So, yeah, that's the thing. 
So I recommend breeding them. The higher level, the stronger they get. So yeah, it always helps. So with that said, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.